So here's the, the lighthouse proper and in a few days I guess everybody that can will be stringing Christmas lights on the lighthouse. So I guess it's about a hundred feet up to the lighthouse which still functions. And uh, yeah, equipment gear. You can see stuff was just, you know, torn up. There's a boat storage yard in, in back of these buildings, and a bunch of boats were up on dry stack racks, and the the, sta the, the racks collapsed, and so all the boats were just pancaked in on top of each other. Now I'm going to see if I can get around to where that is and take a look at that. sort of at high tide now which is good because uh, it gets about four feet out here and we actually did come in to the harbor at pretty much low tide and with our shallow draft we were able to uh, we were able to make it through we didn't touch bottom once which was sort of surprising and there's a boat in the weeds And here's the, the boat yard over here with the crane and they're trying to unstack the boats. Because one of the businesses here rents, you know, rents boats. And he had all his boats stored in here and uh, you know, now he's got to try and get them out one by one. They put it neutral. You know, more of the devastation. Now it looks like not, I don't see a whole lot of things stacked on each other now. Anyway, so that's that's a little bit of a tour, an additional tour, and we'll do a, a town walk around a little later. We're probably going to go over to Marsh Harbor to pick up some groceries. There's a what they call a ferry. It's just a, a large, large pleasure boat with a you know capacity for people, and, and they run that back and forth to Marsh Harbor, which is about six nautical miles away. So. Anyways, hope this is educational for people that are watching.